G'day folks, Wes from RV Daily here. So, what I'm doing today, you guys have probably seen the article I wrote up uh, explaining exactly how a TPMS system works and what it will do to save you money and possibly your life. Um, we thought we'd go the next step up and I'm going to install a TPMS system from ARB. Um, now, I've got the, our little camper on the back, really cool little jigger, but as with all things, you want to be able to keep an eye on the tire pressure. So, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to install it, um, which is incredibly simple for the external ones. And the other thing I'm going to show is show that exactly how it works and what it will do. So, without any further ado, this here is our TPMS system. So, what we've got is this here is the sender unit or the range extender for putting on the uh, drawbar of the camper. So that goes down the drawbar. Obviously you're wiring in 12 volts. You can, not, you can use it without this pack. And what without this pack, what you've got to use is just a pair of AA batteries, but you can get this pack that comes with it, which is absolutely amazing. So you can run it off the 12 volt constant in your caravan or camper, no worries at all. From there, obviously we've got the display. There's the trailer system, which is what was this was in. This has got, I'll show you these. This has got your four little senders, all right. So you got your senders, and that is all that it is. That's absolutely incredible. That's the that's the whole thing. So that just screws onto your tire valve, and that's it. That's all it is. There is really not much to it. There is a watch style battery in there um, that you can get by taking the top and the bottom apart. Other than that, that's it. And they are motion activated. So when you move them around, they will activate and they'll start seeking out the head, which is in this one. Everything, as always, with ARB comes with an amazing um, bit of information on how to do it. So your instructions are incredible. And that's it there. So you've got your set button on the bottom, two USB outlets so you can still charge things if you're not losing your 12 volt socket. Um, but that's it. So when we get it all set up, you'll obviously see this working, but that's basically the whole thing. Um, so you've got your four there for the vehicle. And I only wanted two because I haven't got a dual axle camper. I've just got a single. So that's that, and that's my little jigger of a camper. So obviously got, these are just valve caps at the moment, so I'll get rid of them and put the ARB TPMS kit on. And that little range extender, it says you need to mount it up to your drawbar. So it'll probably go here, run the wires back either through the chassis if I can get them through there, and then up into my batteries. Ignore the spaghetti. So that's it. They are really, really simple to install. But without any further ado, I'm gonna go and put them all on connect everything up and then I'll come back to you guys and I'll show you exactly what it looks like and how it works with the screen um, and we'll probably end up letting a tire down just to show what it looks like and what it does when it goes crazy and starts beeping at you. Something worth noting too is despite the fact that you've got the um, the screen, now on the Hilux for example, my um, Siggy socket is right down in the dash. I'll show you guys where it is. So it's way down in there. All right, so I don't know if you guys are here. You'll see that better like that. So the hassle is, is that I'm not really gonna be able to see the screen down there. Look, I probably can. This is from my vantage point. You know, you can sort of see it down there. That's not a problem. Um, but if you've got one that's sort of, look at that key out so it's not beeping at us. Um, so yeah, if you've got one that's sort of more hidden away, um, they aren't just a visual display. So they will beep and carry on at you. All right, which is very important, especially if you haven't got it somewhere up, I might say right up here on your, in your eye line, so you're not keeping a, a constant eye on it, you know, speedo, road, tire pressure, speedo, road, that sort of thing. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to hear it and starts carrying on, going berserk and saying, you've got a problem, go and check it out. So that said, if you do happen to have, like I normally do, or do in the Land Cruiser anyway, I've got um, Siggy sockets up on the, the dash line, so I can keep an eye on things up there, plug things in, that's where my heme is plugged in, that sort of stuff. So, but in the Hilux, it's gonna be down there. So we'll see exactly how that goes, but um, the fact that it's got the audio alarm is really good, so. Anyway, that's enough out of me. I'm going to go and put these in uh, and give it a rally and see how it goes. Anyway, back with you in just a moment. Righto, guys. So despite my best attempts, I cannot come up with a way to let the tyre down whilst I'm going for a drive. Besides driving over a bunch of screws and nails, they're brand new tyres. I really don't want to do that. So what I'm doing, you can probably hear it. It's sort of whistling here in the background. I'm slowly letting the tyre down. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put it back on, connect it up, jump in the car, uh, and start it up. And you can have a listen to the incessant beeping and see what the display does when it works out that the tyre is a little bit low. Bearing in mind, I'm going to have to take it for a lap around the block, 
simply because um, they work on movement so it won't start sending a signal back until it's moving so let the tie down a little bit uh, we'll jump in and then we'll uh, see how it goes anyway back in a sec righto so I've let the tire down, I've been around the block a couple of times, it's beeping at me incessantly so I've turned it off. But what I'm going to do now is I'll turn it on so you guys can see exactly what it looks like and what it does. Now I've left, I've let the front left hand, so front passenger side, tire down. I didn't gauge, I didn't measure it, let, let it down for about, I don't know, 25-30 seconds. Um, so yeah, it's pinging up well low. Um, but yeah, so anyway, let's plug it in and show you what it does. And that is the god awful incessant beeping. So it's showing 39 in the rear left, 37 in the front right, uh, sorry, 39 in the rear left, 37 in the rear right, 37 in the front right, and 27 in the front left, which is the one I've let down. Now that one's come solid now because it's just found the sensor. This is from when I last drove it. Now because I've turned it off, off and back on again, it takes a little while for it to connect up. Um, but once you're driving, it's it's pretty pretty good. Um, so yeah, so that's exactly how it works and the beep that it makes. Um, when these two go solid, it means it's found the sensors. It finds them better when you're driving. Um, obviously, I'm stationary. I'm not going to drive and hold the camera at the same time because a is dangerous and b well it's illegal. Um, so yeah, so that gives you an indication of the noise that it makes. God. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Shh. Quiet. <laughs> So yeah, so look, put it this way, unless you've got the stereo blasting at full ball, you are going to hear it. Um, it is going to let you know what's going on, and like we said before, it's going to save you, hopefully, your life. Um, so you do know that a tyre is gone or going flat, and it'll save your fuel because your pressures will be all be stationary rather than going up and down all over the shop. And if you do happen to get a slow leak, you'll know about it. So, end of the day, guys, that's exactly how a TPMS system works. Um, I think they're a magic bit of kit, and I really like the um, the ARB ones. They're a good bit of kit. Nice, simple, easy to use. Screw on the valve cap, and you're done. Um, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, that's it, guys. It's um, really cool bit of kit. Anyway. Till next time. Catch you later.